What's going on, YouTube world and Pamper Gang? This is Boy with the Pampers and the Toys. Al recording from Paradise. And please make sure you like, share, subscribe to my YouTube channel, The Boy with the Pampers and the Toys. Please make sure you like, share, subscribe to your family, your friends, and every single enemy you got in the face of the planet. And um, today is going to be a Dolly Day. And normally I do Barbies and stuff, but well, I can do other stuff too as well too. And today we're going to be talking about, um, what is it, the Rainbow High Collection doll right here. And um, definitely a little close and personal. And here's the back, some back, um, some, I said some back, some back, uh, the back of the box as well too. And today we're going to be talking about um, the lovely Vanessa Tempo, beautiful doll by the way. And um, let's get into some things real quick first i got my tlc shirt on uh lisa lopez's birthday just passed so um god um uh, rest in peace lisa lopez and happy belated heaven birthday and as you know tlc was a very much one of the most selling girl groups of all time they had their story to tell and you can look it up online about their story i'm not gonna get into it but rest in peace lisa lopez and tion t boss and uh Rosanda Chili is still amongst the uh, alive, by the way. So, um, let's see. Let's get into some little controversy. Uh, Rainbow High reminds me of oh, the Oh My God dolls to a degree. I don't know if it's the same company that makes these, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, they make the same thing. Um, let's just say... No, it's not say, but the rapper T.I. and his um, songstress wife from the group Escape Tiny had a lawsuit against them for copying when they hit their little girls were a group called Oh My God Girls, and they did come out first. And there were similarities and everything, but who am I? I ain't no judge, you know. And um, basically the, th the lawsuit was thrown out. And when it comes to these, you know, just speaking on that because of the way the dolls look and how the oh my girl the oh my god girl dolls kind of favor them three young ladies in that group you can look at their songs put, put oh my god girls in so much uh well wishes to ti and tiny on their journey in life but let's get into the doll so it's kind of almost like they brats dolls almost but brats dolls eyes look a little more scary <laughs> But I think this doll right here is beautiful. I think Vanessa Temple is really gorgeous. Uh, she's the drummer in the group, as you can see. And she does come with an outfit to change. And you can buy this at Big Lots for, I think it was actually $19.99. And I think Walmart had it for like 30, 40 bucks, something like that to that degree. So this doll's pretty old. It's been out for a minute, but let's talk about her. So Rainbow High. The most electric band at Rainbow High is on its way to Superstar. I don't watch their music videos to see them rock. I think they actually have little songs that they sang on YouTube. Maybe you can find them. Don't know what they are. But let's get this doll open. So, uh, one thing I can say is um, Vanessa, she's a pretty girl. She got braids. She comes with a drum set. So this is going to be definitely a lot to talk about. And um, with that being said, one thing I like about these Rainbow High dolls, I don't collect them. This is gonna be my first time having one, so I really don't collect them like that. I got my leaves. oops. My mule is falling. So, oh, it's neat how the package comes out. There's the shoes. That's kinda cute. I like that. So, <coughs> excuse me, sorry gang, for coughing. So, I just feel like a lot of these dolls are like similar to their counterparts of who the uh, company that creates these dolls. They all look alike to a degree. Maybe it's the eyes, I don't know. But, I'm gonna see once I get Vanessa open if I like her or not. If, I, if it's worthy of getting 
a actual uh, rainbow hat down another one, which I do have another one to present down the road. Cause she's coming. So, let's see. I'm trying to get her accessories out and stuff. The drum set, I do like the drum set, by the way. I hope I know how to put this on. Okay. Lord, this keyboard just gets in the way of when I have a big item. Sometimes it just falls off in my lap. Okay. Okay. Okay, so here is the look. Oop, I dropped my scissors. Ain't that something? So as you can see, there is a drum set right here from Rainbow High. It says Rainbow High on the front of the drum set. I know my camera's angled a little, kind of not the greatest. Uh, so as you can see, you got a snap in the drum sets as well too. Which is cool, I'll get it later. And um, what else do we got in store over here? We got a good old outfit. See, I like how they got the outfit separated in its own little closet box. And I'll get that out. Now I'm focused on getting a dollar. Miss Vanessa Tempo. Miss Vanessa Tempo. She's a Tempo Tempo. Vanessa Tempo. Vanessa, Vanessa. Okay, because if I don't like this doll, I'm going to give it to my goddaughter. She'll smash it up and put it in her, her little toy box. They just got this doll strapped down like she's just off with her head seriously on Game of Thrones. Jeez Louise. And I just be so scared to put the scissors like through the doll's hair. But, you know, you take a chance when you get these rubber bands out. Okay. I see they got a look. Uh, it's a little membership. A little cute little membership that comes with a doll, but huh, I ain't really doing any membership. The economy's already bad. I mean, high. So, all I gotta do is get this girl out of the box. Um, I don't want to cut one of her braids. Okay. So, I bet if I can just cut this part right here, I can get her out safely because I don't want to cut anything at all. Well, let's hope. It's easy to slide them braids on out. Now I gotta get her feet out. Come on, Vanessa Tempo, girl. Come on. Get out. Okay. Looks like I got her safely. Safely for sure. So this is what Vanessa Tempo looks like, gang. Beautiful girl, got braids, kinda, um, she give me TLC vibes. And um, one thing I love about a good doll is a good scalp that's thick. But I don't really, you know, think of too much when it comes to the dolls having braids. So if it, you know, didn't have braids, I expect a full scalp. She, cows, cows have a full scalp, so. I'm going to try to stand her up as possible. See if she stands up. If she doesn't, what can you say? So, okay. So it looks like she has like a kickstand right here. But let me talk about the outfit real quick. We'll get into Vanessa in a minute. I promise. So, it looks like Miss Vanessa Tempo comes with a jacket.
and it looks like she has a what I love about this doll, this doll comes with a different outfit. I think it's adorable. She got like a dress and a shirt underneath it. Like you can put the the shirt underneath um, basically the dress, like a, whatever you call it, just a layover. I don't know really a lot of feminine terminology for female clothes, just being honest. So, okay. And she comes with this beautiful jacket right here. So, here's the kickstand that she has. So, when she's playing drums, you would think that she came with a seat because that's how she looked on her picture, like she was sitting down. But I have plenty of chairs that this dog can sit down on. So, let's talk. Let's get in. Before we get into the accessories, but deeply, let's talk about the dog. She comes with drumsticks in her hand. She has two hoop earrings right here that are really gorgeous then you know she comes with full makeup her eyes are glitzing glitzing they're just glowing she got this little ponytail hold at the top which i do like um the dog's just beautiful and then she's very curvy and um look at the shirt her logo let me see what's on this logo rainbow high shirt and um a little halter top that is connected i think with the shirt maybe and um, she has like little hand things that keep her hands protected when she's playing drums from the, with a stick. The doll has X lots of hair. She's got long, beautiful hair, colorful braids. She's got these nice ripped jeans and the doll pretty much articulated very well. So she's pretty much articulated. And let me cut this off her hand, her, this plastic off her hands, by the way. So, I think the boots are really cute. They've got a lot of little graffiti on it as well, too, uh, on both sides. The little Timberland boots. I didn't really think Timberland boots were still in style, but I think, I always thought the Timberland boots was like an up north thing, because you see a lot of people in New York wear them. I mean, in my hometown, my state, they wear them too, but that's where it traditionally came from, up north. Um, the doll, this is the best articulation I've seen in a doll. The difference between her and Oh My Dad dolls and Low Laughing Out Loud dolls, but they are Laughing Out Loud dolls, which I have a few, is that um, she's a little bigger than a Oh My God, I mean a Laughing Out Loud Oh My God doll. I should grab one of them that I talked about in a previous video, but it's not that serious, because I want to talk about her. So, I may try something differently, and we're going to see what she looks like with a different outfit on because we're going to see what her feet... This is what her feet looks like. I think it's always important to see what a doll's feet look like. So, wish she had some change of earrings, but I'm not going to be too picky. It's cool for what it is. So, let's see. I'm going to go ahead and the rest of this video to change her outfit. But, I like braids on a doll, to be honest with you. And one thing I love about these dolls is that they come with their own, they, get, they um, got their own little underwear painted on, which I think is cute. It's adorable. As you can see. And these actually are cut off jeans that she has. So I didn't ever show her up close with them. There's the little knees um, that are holeless. So, as you can see, she got painted on underwear, which is cool. I like it. So, I'm just changing, you know, to see what she looks like in this outfit. So, she got this little halter top. So, I think the doll has great accessories. I'm going to take her little drumsticks off her hand. Because there's no need for all of that. So... I like I like the doll, but these dolls are very costly, so you definitely have to be very careful when it comes to uh, the price of these dolls. And I'd rather have her.
we're gonna let mama kind of hang out a little bit meaning you know show just a little skiing a little bit how about that okay all right she's a little hippie woman all right hippie girl Cause there's really no need for her to have a shirt on or anything so did she drop okay so here's what she looks like with at least halfway the new outfit i'm gonna put her shoes on as well too she got heels to change from timberlands So here's what homegirl looks like. I said homegirl with the new outfit on. I think she's gorgeous. Oops, sorry. That's what she looks like with the new dress outfit on. And she got the heels. As you can see, the heels are pretty fly. The only thing I say about these dolls, they more urban than anything. I remember my scene at one point in time was urban as well too. So um, I like this doll. I'll give her a 10 out of 10. She's a beautiful doll. Uh, she's worth keeping. So definitely you can get her at Big Lots for $19.99 or at Target and Walmart for like, I think it's like close to 40 bucks, something like that. So there you go, Vanessa Tempo Gang. But before I, you know, settle off to oblivion, if she had a chair, she got her kickstand right here. And you know, who cares about Pahona jacket? I don't like dolls wearing jackets. So this is what she would look like behind the drumsticks. Let's put a drumsticks up there. And girls, pretty fly. So that's what Vanessa Temple looks like, gang. Get your Vanessa Temple doll. Get her real soon. She's gorgeous. All right. It's going to be hard to try to stand her up. But let's do her like this. Okay, so Vanessa Tempo standing up. How about that? Okay. So I would like to thank my my new friends for subscribing to my channel, The Boy with the Pampers and the Toys. I can't do this without you, friends. Y'all my friends, not subscribers. And please make sure you like, share, subscribe to my YouTube channel, The Boy with the Pampers. Please make sure you like, share, subscribe to your family, your friends, your enemies. Also, uh, watch my um, Instagram and Twitter pages. I always upload frequently. Without your support, I couldn't do it. I'm up to 2,000 followers on Instagram and not that many followers on probably about 86, 85 followers. Maybe less than that because you know a lot of spam where I try to follow you on these different platforms. You got to be cautious. They're hackers. So everyone, have a great, safe day. And think about your hair for one crown. You can fix your nose if it says so. And I don't own the rights to that song. I don't own them. I don't own them. I don't own them. <laughs>